everybody. Welcome to the Love and Light Show with me, your host, Sarah Manning. Um, I hope you're all having a really good week. So far, our week has been really good here. Um, really great news. I am actually feeling healthy. My vertigo is, um, as far as I'm concerned, gone. And I'm actually back to my normal self. So that's really exciting for me because it has been, it's been a long couple of months trying to fight over things. But anybody that sent me um, advice, or um, alternatives to taking pills. Thank you so much. Um, I tried almost everything and um, it just, it, you had to go, I had to roll with the punches and that's okay. That's how it goes sometimes. So we all hope, <laughs> excuse me, I hope you're all getting ready for Christmas. Um, it's what, 13 days before we get to celebrate. Um, this Christmas for my family and I is actually going to be really different. Um, normally with my husband's family, we have a big um, shindig with his side of the family and being in a different province now, Colin and I aren't going to have that. So it's a little different. And then unfortunately, my sister is not going to be with us for Christmas either. It's the first Christmas that we'll have apart. Um, my mom and her husband um, are coming, which I'm happy about. But I'm going to miss my sister and her family. They're, we all started celebrating Christmas uh, basically all together and stuff like that. So it's a little hard and challenging. So anybody that is away from family, whether you're in the military for work or just distance reasons, um, I, I feel you sending you guys lots of love and, uh, and we got to know that it just gets better from this. Hey, and look, there's other ways to celebrate. You got Skype, you got FaceTime on phones, you got tons of different ways to spend the holidays together in some way, shape or form. So you can have that interaction, which is super important. Um, so I'm just winging it basically <laughs> until my lovely producer, Dave, finds me a caller and he always does. He always pulls through for me and he's being a little hard on himself because of uh, some glitches and stuff. But let's all send him some love because he's fabulous and we love him. He, him and uh, and his team make this show um, possible and the ability and for me to be able to give you guys connections which is super cool I love that um let's see what else can I tell you I'm just gonna flip a card oh there we go hold on things always fall out so I just have to go get it so two seconds and I can see Dave is typing so that means that we've got somebody oh here we have um Hila out I think you know this card has been coming up a lot lately let me see if I can do that um so um yeah i'm excited to get our first call whenever they come but while we're waiting we're just going to talk about heal the ouch card um hey actually i'm going to use my mom's probably watching i hope she doesn't mind that i'm going to use this example um but um so earlier this week i had a phone call from my mom and um she was letting me know that the way i was supporting her um, wasn't really the way that she needed me to support her. Now, as I was having the phone call, I could feel my shoulders going up and I, and I every time I felt it, I'd like push them down, listen to your mom, don't take this personally, understand that she's actually telling you for once what she needs from you. She understands that what you were saying was coming from a place of love, but listen to what she needs. It's like, um, if someone is like, oh, I want milk, but I can't have dairy and you keep buying them dairy milk <laughs> and they're like, well, no, I need coconut or almond. And they just eat the dairy because they're like, well, it's out of love that they're buying me the dairy, even though it makes me sick. Right. So I was so grateful that she actually called and said, hey, I love you, but I need this type of support. So when someone says that to you, try not to take it personally. Um, it has nothing to do with you. They're just voicing what their needs are. And if you're trying to help them, don't you want to know what their needs are in the first place? So that clarity needs to happen and everything. So then instead of going, oh, I think they can, I think they can have dairy milk. I'm going to buy them the dairy milk out of love and kindness and support and in reality they're going oh god i gotta drink this but i just wish i had coconut or almond milk or soy milk or something else right and then when you find out they have a dairy allergy you're like oh my god i bought you all that milk why didn't you tell me i would have much rather buy you something that you could use right <laughs> so remember sometimes healing the ouch isn't necessarily about you but it is about the person that you're actually supporting and helping so that's my little lesson this week. And, and I think about it all the time. And I'm just always so proud of my mom for saying something. because It's not like her to do that. But anyways, it looks like we have Amber in Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania. I have never heard of that place. I think it's really great that I get to connect her to her this way. Hi, Amber. How are you? Hi, I'm well. Thank you for your time. Oh, you are so welcome. Can you hear me? Thank you for letting oh. us connect you. <laughs> 
How, are you ready for Christmas? I'm getting there. I'm trying to. This year, I'm trying not to stress about it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm, I'm getting there, I guess. How about you? Oh, right on. Um, actually, I'm as ready as I can be. I just need to put some decorations up. But I'm a little lucky this year because um, my family and I, we've decided not to do presents. We're just going to do stockings. And um, that's pretty much it. So very low key. That's awesome. And I'm, I'm, yeah. It, it's, you know, it kind of, I, so my family didn't start celebrating Christmas until about 15 years ago. And um, we've loved it so much. But after a little while, I think the older, uh, although the magic is still there and the fun of it is still there, I think the older you get, you're like, I don't know what to get this person. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so we're, we're doing vacation. memory. We have a nine year old, and we're gonna um like go on vacation instead of like give a lot of presents. We're gonna make memories and you know experience life instead of just the material things. So, trying to feel that, that in our kids. So. I love that. I love that. That is awesome. Um, okay, so Amber, as I was chatting with you, I was just shuffling cards, and um, we have a card that popped out for you, and it's um, it's okay, called right. Ride the Wave, and it's actually it's I love this card because it's a reminder. You've got a really good sense. I, it's interesting because I'm like you. Um, I don't feel like much ruffles your feathers. Like I feel like you're a pretty. No, strong it doesn't. Person. I try to be strong, but I'm I'm kind of burnt out, and I'm trying to like awaken spiritually and you know find my purpose and be the light and go through the dark but I have a lot of things that have kind of made my soul heavy um so I don't really get ruffled but I absorb everybody and I feel everybody but it's kind of hard okay. to find myself in that mix to okay I totally get that before I continue on with that um Amber has your dad passed I'm sorry can you repeat that yeah um has your dad passed away um, I really didn't know my dad until I was older in life. I had a stepdad. Um, both of them are still alive. I don't have really okay. much contact with either of them. So, Okay, my I just feel a really passed. strong male. Should we say that again? My husband's father passed about two years ago. Okay, was he a very strong father figure for you? Um, no, he wasn't. But for my husband, he was. And it's really affected our life the past two years. because My husband hasn't been able to grieve over it. He has um, PTSD for more. So no, I really didn't know him that well, to be honest, okay. um, but he was a very no, strong for my okay. husband. For sure. I would rather, like, whenever I commute or um, connect spirit, I'm always like, I would rather you be 100% honest than not, right? Because yeah. then I kind of go off on the wrong way. So I'm so glad that, that you said that. Hey, um, his dad, I keep wanting to say um, it was due, to, he passed very unexpectedly. Would that be correct? And due to trauma? Yes, miss. Yeah. Okay. Um, it, uh, so I give what I get and I, this might sound a little, I'm like, wow, that's pretty strong. But I, did he get impacted on the chest? All of a sudden my chest really hurts. Yeah. He had a heart attack. He died from a heart attack. Okay. So that would be why my chest is hurting so bad. Um, so okay, I had, so I had a lady once and he came through as well. And it's kind of odd because I never met him, but my husband and I, I believe we're twin flames and we're very connected. But he was, like I said, right. very prominent, like you said, a strong man. So, I mean, right. that really makes sense. You know what I mean? I don't really relate to it, but I do in a, in a sense because of the connection I have with my husband. So, that's, that's interesting. Right. And, you know, it's interesting because I actually have a lot of clients who are like, I totally know who you're talking about, but I never met them. And I'm always like, your loved ones on the other side, it doesn't bother them if you don't meet them. They're still going to come forward mm -hmm. on the chance that you're going to pass the messages on. Um, um uh amber your your husband really looks like your um or his dad is that correct that is correct he's okay. a very strong he's man like, like his father he's like a spitting image of okay <laughs> so that makes sense why he's going like this and it's really um i don't know if you know this but i keep wanting to say he also had a really good sense of humor because his dad keeps going but i'm better looking <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. It's just crazy okay. that you say that because my husband is is more in tune with his inner self than his chi. His mom, his mom was a hippie, and his dad was a big motorcycle biker. So yeah, that that makes a lot of sense. And like I said, he was very. My husband is so devastated over his father's death, and that's kind of um what we struggle with daily as a couple because he hasn't really gotten over that acceptance of grief. You know what I mean? Right. So, absolutely. Yeah, makes sense. And then. The other thing that um, his dad keeps saying is there was so much that they missed out on together. Like, it's almost like 
as as much as they cared about each other, there was like I keep wanting to say, um, it's like his dad kept was like, I wish I had told him more. I wish I had spent more time with him. I wish, I wish, I wish. Does that make all make sense? I mean, when he was younger, like they weren't close. And then when my husband got back from the Marine Corps, they they became really close because they had that common bond. You know what I mean? So but, they did everything. They actually kind of did everything together, but. I know that there was probably more. He was always wanting to do something. Like he would just show up and say, hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. He was, his dad was constantly going, having fun in life, so, but you his know? Dad, but his dad missed out on a lot in, during his life, right? Like, yeah. um, okay. And it's interesting because like, although the bond was there when they were older, his, like his dad makes me feel like, but a big chunk of his life, that's what I wish I had been there for more. And and, under, um, and understood him on different levels because it's not that he didn't understand his son, but it's like it, I understood him, but I couldn't relate because I didn't know a hundred percent how he was growing up. Does, does that make sense? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So know that that his dad takes a hundred percent responsibility for that, and also I keep also wanting to say, um, I. Uh, you, your husband has a, a, a voicemail from his dad on his phone still. Is that right? Um, I'm not sure. He kind of doesn't tell me things um, because of his PTSD, but that's very likely. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because I keep feeling like I keep hearing, hello, son, hello, son, hello, son, on repeat on a phone. So, and it's interesting because his dad is more just like, I just, I know that he's doing this. I know he's doing it, but he keep, because he keeps going over and over in his head, it's, and he must have been very blunt because he's like, it's driving him crazy because it makes that pain that much deeper and that much more. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. I'm going to smack him because his dad's coming through. <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to push him out now. And I want to finish the reading that we have with the card because unfortunately I do have um, somebody else waiting. But I'm still going to give you yeah. the advice that came through the card. So with the ride the wave card, what that basically is telling you is you have to decide, you know, when we're on a wave, um, if you're surfing on a wave, you can only have a certain amount of weight um, to keep uh -huh. yourself balanced. You can't take everything. So what I want to remind you is you have to decide what is going to affect you, what's important to you, and don't worry That's about so anybody. That's hard to do for me. 100% for me because I love everybody and everything so I just I don't know how to do that I don't know how to separate that so I can totally understand that and appreciate that because um I doing what I do I try to help yeah. everybody and and I love everybody I totally understand that um Amber with uh. or and Amber, what I'm going to do for you is um, because unfortunately your your father-in-law hijacked your reading and I'm running out of time. I don't okay. want to just rush through this reading. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to contact me through my Facebook page, which is Sarah Manning Spiritual Medium, um, and look for okay. the pink hair. <laughs> and okay, what I would Sarah like Manning, you said Yes, yeah, Sarah Manning. Okay. Um, you okay. can, and, and you can even go to my website at Sarah S. Manning. So what I would like to do is I'd like to spend a little bit more time with you at a little bit more convenient time. Um, and well, I, that appreciate I, that. I really do. I appreciate that because I need the guidance and I really, like I said, want to be the light. I'm just really lost and heavy and confused. So I really appreciate that. <laughs> So tonight, what I would recommend is have make like, and this has to be your top priority as much as you need to breathe. This needs to be your priority. You need to have a hot bath with Epsom salts and make sure that okay. nobody bothers you. You can be like, if you want me to be a happy person, you give me this time because that will leave me alone. You. Okay. Well, thank yes. you so much for your time, Sarah. And I will go ahead and do your question on friendship on Facebook. And you have a wonderful yeah. evening. Thank you. You too. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so next we have um, Angela from, oh my God, uh, Denver, Queensland, Australia. Hi, Angela. Yes. How are you doing? Good, thanks. How are you? I am just fine, thank you. How's the weather over in Australia? Nice and hot and summery? Yes, it is very hot. Oh, <laughs> a little too hot or is it comfortable right now? Um, it's comfortable today, but it has been extremely hot. Okay. 
Awesome. Okay. Well, I find it funny that it's been extremely hot because the card that comes for you is water. <laughs> and water kind of, you know, cools this down. But it's the Magic Stream card. I actually love this card. Um, but this card tells me, um, like, I want to tell you that some self-care needs to happen for you. And, um, and, and it's interesting because I feel like you're actually trying to make yourself more of a priority, but you're feeling a bit, a bit lost on how to do that. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So, um, something I've recently learned is, um, I used to tell people, well, what's your passion, figure out what your passion is and start dedicating yourself to that. But sometimes people don't know where their what their passion is or what they're interested in. But for you with your self care and passion, I feel like you need to try a few things. Um, I actually want to encourage you to get to water, put your feet in it. Cause I feel like cool water really helps you kind of relax. Is that right? Okay. Yes, it does. Okay, so I would encourage you to, um, like, when you're feeling totally stressed out and um, um, just kind of frazzled, I would say get your feet into some really cool water and just enjoy the feeling of it and let things, it's almost like I would envision a vacuum from your feet and see everything being sucked out of your, like, out of your body through your feet and just, like, let things go almost and I know that's easier said than done but a little bit at a time you'll find that yeah. you'll get more relaxed and more relaxed and it's just, like I keep feeling like cool water on the back of my neck do you usually put like when you get really hot do you usually take some water and put it at the back of your neck as well yes I do Okay, that's really good because that's that's actually, you know, you're realizing, hey, I need to cool down and I'm going to do this. And that's you're taking care of yourself in um, almost a subconscious level. So once we become conscious of it, oh, that's so cool. Um, Angela, Angela, do you draw or, or paint? Like I almost see um, doodles, like doodling all over the place as well. Yeah, I try to. I'm not very good at it though. Hey, that doesn't it matter. It's, all it's what works for you, right? Um, and, yeah. and I feel like that is, it needs to become a little bit more of a priority, not when you just have a few minutes to think about it. Um, I feel like I want to remind you to make that a priority. And sometimes we have to schedule it in, right? Like we schedule times okay. to eat. And we're just like, this day, this week, this time, I'm doing what I need to do to take care of myself. Because, you know, when, okay. when I'm battery... Yeah, one of my favorite examples is um, when we're driving a car and our car runs out of gas, we never get mad at the car for running out of gas. We just take it for granted and go, oh, I need to put gas in it. And we fill the gas, we fill our car up. But when it comes to us, when we run out of gas, we're like, why, why, do you need, why do you need gas? Like, what's wrong with you? Why can't you keep going? Why can't you take a heavier load and stuff like that? We are so yeah. much more important and valuable than a car, <laughs> yeah. right? So I would encourage you to to really take the time to really figure things. I also want to tell you, have you ever heard, I don't know if they have them in Australia, but do you guys have salt lamps over there? Yes, we do. Okay, do you have some? Because I think they'd be really good for you as well. Um, my mum has some and has been trying to give them to me, so I'll take her up on that, I think. Yes, I think it would be really good. And, you know, it doesn't have to be everywhere in your house, but it's interesting because I also want to tell you, you need a sacred space in your home, um, a place where you are, like, have a comfortable chair set up, you've got a little table with some things that you love, and your salt lamp. And it's like, when you're in that space, Nobody's allowed to bug you. You're, you're, you're just like, okay. I'm going to enjoy it. And the other thing, too, that I want to remind you, Angela, is um, I think sometimes we forget to smile because usually we only smile when something funny happen, happens or um, when we're, in, you know, um, we're around people that we like. But sometimes when we sm just simply smile, even when we're driving, all of a sudden your mood can switch up and you're like, that's right. I'm smiling because I love myself and I'm giving myself that energy. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Okay. Wow. Um, 
<laughs> um, I'm so glad it makes sense. That's awesome. Um, and, you know, and it's funny, too, because sometimes when we smile, it brings us back to the present. Um, sometimes, you know, we're just going moving through the, the motions. We're not really aware of what's going on. So we're kind of just going like through life numb. But when we smile, we bring our back ourselves back to the moment. We're like, yay, I feel so good. And life is getting better. And all you did was smile. That simple, simple thing. Even if for the first little bit, it feels funny. So you just hold the smile for like two seconds. Um, but the more you do it, the more uh, it natural it'll be. And, and, I, and I think, and you have such a beautiful smile. And it's interesting because I want to say you have very beautiful eyes. Do you have blue eyes? I keep seeing blue eyes. I do. Yeah. You, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, your eyes are very beautiful, and when you smile, your 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 smile reaches your eyes. And what you're going to start doing, because I also feel like you want to make an impact on other people's lives and and find a way to to shift their um, their lives in a more positive way as well. But you're not sure how to do that. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Start small, start with a smile. It's amazing how many people, um, so when I go walking down the street, I am, I'm constantly trying to remind myself to smile. And it's amazing how somebody that looks frazzled and stressed and they're walking towards you and you just smile. It's amazing that like their response and everything. And yeah. it's interesting. To be perfect. <laughs> That's great. Um, mm -hmm. It's interesting too, because like the other thing I want to tell you is when you get those urges, to tell somebody, oh, I love this about you, or oh my gosh, you're so handsome, or oh, you're so pretty, or I love the way your hair is done. I keep wanting to tell you, actually do it. Because even okay. when it feels a little awkward and you're just like, oh God, these people are gonna yeah. think I'm crazy. But they they are that's gonna change their okay. day simply for that okay. 20 seconds of you giving them their time or giving them yeah. your time. <laughs> um, do you have any questions in well, general at all, Angela? Um, no, not really. Okay, but uh, I have about two minutes left, so um, I I just want to thank you very much for for joining me today and letting me give you those messages. Um, I hope you have a really great time in Australia, or you live in Australia, but <laughs> I keep wanting yes. to say I hope you have a great summer. And um, get close to water. I think you'll really find that a lot more calming. And um, just investigate what feels good for you. And I think you'll do, I think you'll have an even better okay. summer than you thought. Okay. That's awesome. Awesome. Thank you oh, so perfect. much. You, you You're so awesome. On head with a lot of things. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. That's great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So to everybody else, of course, thank you so much uh, for a great show. I always love my Wednesdays. They're always special. I was worried I was going to be late today, but uh, we managed to make it and go live, which is even better. And to Dave and everybody on A1R Psychic Radio Network and Moonstruck TV, thank you. Thank you. Have an excellent night, guys. And we will see you next week. Bye. Love and light.